In recent years, Manchester United had seen academy graduates including Marcus Rashford and Mason Greenwood excel at the global football stage. However, this is just the beginning. A new wave of talented academy graduates are knocking on the door of the first team and ready to make a major impact. Today, I'll be sharing with you five of United's Wonder Kids who I believe are destined for long-term success with the club. Anthony Alenga joined Manchester United's academy at the age of 12 and quickly impressed with his speed and unpredictability in the wide area. Alenga rose through the ranks, making his first appearance with the under-18s while he was still a schoolboy. It didn't take long for Alenga to dominate the under-18 level as he was named the 2019-2020 Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year. Heading into last season, Alenga made the jump to the under-23 level and answered the challenge scoring 11 goals and tallying 4 assists in 20 matches. After suffering a shoulder injury in January, Alenga fought his way into the first team and received praise from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer who said, He's a goal scoring winger, he's confident, he likes to beat men, right foot, left foot, he's got a great attitude. When he's been training with us, he's not phased by it, he's confident. Alenga has since traveled with the first team to Italy for United's Europa League match against Roma and made his Premier League debut against Leicester City. During his roughly 60 minutes against Leicester, Alenga made quality runs in behind, was involved in some of United's link up play, and showed off his explosiveness. He followed this up with a goal in United's final match of the season against Wolves. If Alenga can continue to improve his end product, he will have a place in the first team very soon. Charlie McNeil started with Manchester United's academy, but chose to join Manchester City in 2014 as they offered their talented young players the opportunity of a private education. With Manchester City, McNeil scored over 600 academy goals while establishing himself as one of European football's best young strikers. McNeil's record in front of goal was particularly impressive at the under-15 level, scoring 110 goals and tallying 38 assists in just 72 matches. In October of 2020, Manchester United battled Juventus and RB Leipzig before paying £750,000 to bring McNeil back to Old Trafford. Since joining Manchester United's under-18s, McNeil has impressed, scoring 24 goals in 21 matches. McNeil is a true fox in the box, jumping on any half chance. He is composed in front of goal and able to finish with either foot. An area of McNeil's game that he is continuing to develop is his link-up play. McNeil will often drift wide to receive the ball and deliver a well-timed cross. With McNeil joining the under-23s this season, we will have to wait and see if he can replicate this form. If so, Manchester United could have a very special player on their hands. James Garner joined Manchester United at the under-8 level, initially playing centre-back before transitioning to the midfield at age 15. While many players would struggle to make a positional change this late on, Gardner excelled flying through the ranks before joining the first team on their 2018 summer tour. Gardner would make his first team debut on February 27, 2019, coming on as a 90th minute substitute for Fred in a 3-1 win away to Crystal Palace. Throughout the 2019-2020 season, Gardner was still knocking at the door of the first team, but the 18-year-old remained unable to find consistent minutes. Garner would be sent on a series of loan spells in the championship with Watford and Nottingham Forest. While playing with Forest, Garner impressed, tallying four league goals in 20 matches. Garner's impact can be seen in Forest's results as prior to his arrival, the club averaged 0.97 points per game compared to 1.37 with Garner. At Forest, Garner contributes as a box-to-box -box midfielder with phenomenal passing range. His ability to drive with the ball in the center of the pitch provides a nice contrast to Forrest's more defensive-minded players. Gardner has been sent back on loan to Forrest for the 2021-2022 season. If Gardner continues on where he left off, he could earn himself a spot as a rotational player in Manchester United's midfield next season. Tendon Mengi joined Manchester United's academy at 7, serving as a club captain at various age groups. Mengi made his first appearance with the under-18s in October of 2017 against Sunderland. 
it wouldn't take Mengi long to sign his first professional contract and begin training with the first team. Mengi made his first team debut at 18 after coming on as an 84th minute substitute for Timothy Fosumensa in a Europa League match against Lask. Despite training with the first team, Mengi was unable to displace United's more experienced defenders such as Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof, and Eric Bailly. During the second half of the 2020-2021 season, Mengi was sent on loan to Wayne Rooney's Derby County. With Derby, Mengi would make 9 appearances helping the Rams avoid relegation. Mengi has superb composure on the ball and a good understanding of the game. Mengi uses his anticipation skills to intercept passes and physical strength to fend off opposing players. Mengi has also been described as a perfect professional due to his dedication to improvement. If Mengi can continue to impress while training with the first team, opportunities will present themselves to the youngster at Old Trafford. Ethan Laird joined Manchester United's academy at age 9. Laird quickly advanced through the ranks due to his ability to play both as a right back and center back. Laird signed his first professional contract in October of 2018. However, Laird would face a major setback after picking up an injury in a UEFA Youth League match against Young Boys, which sidelined him for the remainder of the season. Laird would bounce back from this injury and make his professional debut on November 28, 2019. While Laird received a few chances with the first team following his debut, he performed well with the under-23s, tallying 3 assists in 10 matches. To receive more playing time and gain experience, Laird was sent on loan to League One side MK Dons for the 2020-2021 season. At MK Dons, Laird showcased his attacking prowess, recording 4 assists in 19 matches. Laird's ability to drop his shoulder and dribble behind defenders to deliver a well-timed cross is one of his best attributes. Defensively, Laird uses his speed to apply pressure and smother opposing wingers. Laird also makes good recovery runs in transition, which is important for an attacking-minded fullback. This season, Laird has been sent on loan to championship side Swansea City. If Laird can stay healthy and continue to develop his game, he could challenge Wambasaka for Manchester United's right-back position in the coming years. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments which of these 5 wonder kids you are most excited for. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button for part 3 and subscribe for more Manchester United content. Thank you and take it easy. Peace.